Hi, it's Rich Edmonds. Today I'm going to talk to you about the grip. So it's, it's definitely one of the most important fundamentals. And it's tricky because there's, there's golfers that have made it into the Hall of Fame with one type of grip, and then other golfers have made it into the Hall of Fame with an entirely different. So there's no one size fits all with the grip. But what I would tell you to do is to try to keep it simple and stay as fundamentally sound as you can. So here's a few tips. First, I'm gonna tell you a couple of the common mistakes people make so that you can eliminate that. One of the first common mistakes I see is people tend to turn their hands up when they're gripping the club. I see them trying to get their hands on the club up like this. And, and I don't like that because it immediately takes your hands from a natural position to an unnatural position. So start with your left hand, get the club in your left hand down by your side, more in the fingers, make sure you get the heel pad of your left hand on top with the thumb. Once you've got that, stand the club right in front of you and simply add your right hand. And what we're looking for at the end of the day is we want both hands to be right in front of our chest, basically palms opposing, and the club more in the fingers and the V's between your thumb and forefinger pretty much at your chin or between your chin and right shoulder. That's a pretty basic standard understanding of the grip. Sure, there are three different ways you can hold it that are common. One is called the 10 finger, where we put all 10 fingers on the handle this way. The most common on tour is the Varden grip, or overlapping, where the pinky kind of overlaps. And one that's also very popular, made by Jack Nicklaus and Tiger Woods, is the interlock, where we put our pinky underneath that forefinger. But no matter which grip you use, what we're looking for is to keep the hands working in an anatomically correct position, not palm up and opposing each other. So work on your grip and make sure your grip is, is solid and consistent. Here's one thing to remember about the grip. The PGA teaching manual said, the definition of the correct grip is the one that hits the most accurate shots. So keep that in mind, there's no one way, okay? But you do need to have a very good functional grip. So spend some time on it, it's a fundamental, and if you get it right, you're off to much better golf.